Hello, Vince Campy here. Let's talk about Google Docs, Google Documents. First thing you need to do, if you don't know where it is, you can just go to a browser. Got one right over here. Let's see, okay, then go to Google and do a search for Google Docs, D-O-C-S. Okay, then when this comes up, you go ahead and click on the first or second one, either one. Brings you to the welcome page. Now, if you don't have a Google account or a Docs account, you can go ahead and get signed up right here. It takes about five minutes, free, of course. It's good to take a little tour, kind of get an idea of what Docs is about right here. Perhaps watch this video. All right, let's sign in here. Just brings us to our library area. And here you can choose a new document, spreadsheet, presentation, or folder. Okay, whoops, there we go. Now, here's folders right here. So other items right there, trash, things like that. You can click on things and delete them if you want. You can click on them, add them to folders. These are folders I've added earlier today. Okay, this is basically this area right here. These are all documents you have or have worked on or you're sharing with someone else. Now, to create a new document, just go right here to New, click on Document, and it brings you into this basic word processor. It does most of what you need for most academic and uh, note-taking business type things. Okay? It's file right here. What I've done is I've set this to some defaults that I like. Pretty much the academic double spacing type faults, or, uh, defaults. Now, file, if you want to do that, go to file, document settings. Okay. Now, use my font line spacing settings below. Okay. Now, font I've chosen Verdana. It's one of the easiest fonts to read, sans serif font. It comes at default at 10. Let's put this at 12. I put that at 12 because that's most academic papers are done in a 12-point font. Now, the line spacing, that's where we go and select the double space. Most papers are done double space, MLA, Chicago, APA. All those formats are uh, uh, double line spacing. And the document background color is white. What you want to do is make these the default settings. If you wanted to use, I use a, a sans serif font, but if you wanted to use a serif like a Times New Roman, the normal serif, then it would look like that. Look like your traditional uh, Times. Okay, but I'm going to go with the Verdana because I like that a lot. I like it. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so make these the default settings and hit OK. All right, now, I'm going to go ahead and type in my name, and what dates? Oh, the date. Okay, and let's see, whatever class it would be. So now, it's a nice sensor font. It's double line spaced. Let's put a title, as if you're doing a paper of some sort. Now, what you can do is we have the title selected. Go over here and center that, because you have all the standard... Uh, word processing uh, commands and things you can do. Um, let's see, here you have your fonts. There's not a whole lot, but there's pretty much everything you need to do a, a paper. Font sizes and colors. There's highlighting, numbered lists, bulleted lists, indents, and the um, alignment tabs here. Okay, I'm going to make this title bigger, sort of like a title. Okay, maybe 24, maybe we'll make it bold and italics, and we'll make it a nice, subtle green, beautiful green there. Okay, now, this is kind of a weird little thing here. So I have my cursor there. If I hit return, it's going to go down there, and I want to left align, of course. And I click there, and it's going to left align the title until you write something. Okay, then I'd be able to go back in here and center it. I'm not sure what that is, but it's a little quirk. So let me bring this back to my defaults, get those off of there. My font, the Verdana, and the 12 points, and probably black would be nice for that. Okay, there we have that. Now, to save, click right over here where it says Save. And it saves that. 
right here to name it. Okay, if you go back to your docs home, right here, I just clicked on that. It's, oops, okay, that's this document. Docs home, let's get you up back there. Now it says untitled right now, but if I hit refresh, now that's what it's called right now. So let's go back over there. See, this is the library, and this is how it comes up here. So if I click there, now that name is right here up in the corner, right under Google Docs. Now if I click on that, I can edit it. So maybe I will put, like what I have with my students do, I have like a put a period two, space, then their name, and maybe the title of the document. Okay, then you hit OK there. See, now it changes over here, and that's how it aligns over in the Docs Home. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on Save. Now, this is pretty much the basic word processing. Let me go down here, click there, hit Return. I'll show you how to add a table. If you go to the Insert tab, Table, and you can choose all your rows and columns and sizes and padding. We'll just go with the 2x2, two two, Insert, and there you have it. There you have a table. Um, number one, hit tab, number two. Now we can center those in there. And uh, you could go ahead and write any kind of categories list or however you want to use the table. So now this is very simple like that. I'm going to click on Save. Go to my Docs Home. And see right now it still has that name there. I refresh. Now it changes that. You can do real-time collaboration with uh, other people as well. The great thing about this is now if I close this window, I go to another computer in another state, in another room, anywhere on campus, anywhere around, I'll, all I have to do is go to my uh, Google account, open this up, click right on there, and I have my work done right here. So it's really great for not having to try and remember to carry your zip drive or not zip drive. Oh, that's a little old school. Okay, <laughs> your USB thumb drive or something like that around. Okay, this is the end of part one. Uh, next part, we'll talk about sharing and collaboration. Have a great day. Bye-bye.